Hello everybody, Tommy here, World at War Comics, and I just wanted to go through a pile of stuff that I've gotten from all kinds of different um, crowdfunding um, campaigns. Um, it's been a while, this has been stacking up, I am starting to read all of these, um, but I just wanted to show you what I picked up. So, um, I got a couple things. One, um, at uh, San Diego Comic Con, I met Aaron Lapresti and I picked up Garbage Man and he signed it for me. The art on this is absolutely incredible. And then he had a Kickstarter for um, Kit Carter's Galactic Ranger and I went ahead and picked that up. Um, cannot wait to jump into these. Um, his art is absolutely amazing. Um, and then I uh, picked up Extend. Um, level up. I think this was an Indiegogo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just so you know, I love to just go through comics on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, fund my comics, Zoop. Um, I'm probably missing a few of them, but um, anyways, I like to go through those and check out what's out there. And if I like the art and if the story seems really interesting, I'll go ahead and pick it up. And that's what I've done. So um, here it comes. Um, this one right now, like I said, is uh, written by uh, Shane Davis. And uh, also um, Yazzie Lynn, and then obviously the art is done by Shane, but um, it looks freaking awesome. Um, the next one is going to be, um, I got all four of these issues. It's called Here Comes Calico. Um, and this one looked really interesting. Don't know much about it, um, but I, I like the covers at least. So I went ahead and picked these up um, and they look like they're gonna be a lot of fun. So um, yeah, we'll have to check it out. It's uh, written by um, HH um, German. Um, with uh, Art, and hopefully I pronounce his name right, Orabach. But uh, anyways, I got the four fir uh, first four issues of this right here. Um, you can see the art right there. Here comes Calico. The art looks pretty dope, man. And so I cannot wait to get into these and read them. It looks really interesting. So I went ahead and picked up that. Um, and then, you know, uh, some of my favorite writers, um, I've been going ahead and picking up uh, some of their autographs. I went to Jason Aaron's actual website and I got Action Comics uh, 1061, a couple different covers that he signed for me. Pretty dope. So I had to add that to my collection. Um, a good friend of mine, KJ Kaminsky, he writes a comic book called The Resistance. If you love G.I. Joe, you're going to love this. Um, but I got issues two and three on his last Kickstarter. Um, he has quite a few issues now of the resistance. If you love GI Joe or something similar to that, although this is a little bit more sci-fi, you're going to love this. The art is absolutely incredible. Um, you know, Jason Johnson is the artist and it just comes out amazing. In fact, he just did a Kickstarter where, um, the issue was a homage to GI Joe issue number one and the cover looks awesome. Um, my next, uh, good friend, um, from Benton Box Comics, Mr. Chris O'Hara, this is his monsters, his first horror, um, comic book that he put out and, uh, it's awesome. The Kickstarter just ended and it was, uh, funded. Um, Luna A is the uh, artist on this and it is unique and freaky. So check that out. You can go to bentboxcomics.com. Um, my next one is WTF Comics. Um, I went ahead and got this manga. It's called Blue Ghost. And if I'm not mistaken, it's out of Brazil. Um, WTF, if you go to their website, obviously they have traditional American comics, but they also have manga and they have other things. Um, quite a diverse portfolio of storytelling. Um, so check them out. Um, but here is what it looks like. Jack Egan and John Jones are the two gentlemen who I've had on the podcast. I've had KJ Kaminsky. I've had quite a few of these people on my podcast. So if you want to know more about them, just go to our YouTube page and you could uh, check out these um, interviews that we've done. But this comic looks pretty dope um, and I cannot wait to jump into it. So um, it is written by Paulo Glemberg. Um, so... It looks awesome. Cannot wait to dig into that. The next one I got was another Kickstarter. This is a Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Dixon. Um, they came together and wrote First Kill. And it looks freaking awesome. Came with dog tags and everything. Um, also came with this a comic called A New Kind of War. Um, but I'm going to check this out, man. This looks awesome. I can't wait to dig into it. Um, I just had Kelly. Oh, I've had Chuck Dixon on, by the way. Um, on the podcast as well. So if you want to check that out, go for it. Um, I just had Kelly Thompson on and we had a blast. And so I went ahead and uh, got a few of her comics that are signed too. So obviously her Birds of Prey run has been quite popular. I went ahead and got a cover of that one. Um, I got Scarlet, which has been my favorite. Um, I love what's going on at the Energon universe and her own title, The Cole, has been absolutely awesome. And the art is just next level. Um, so check that out. Um, the next one that I got is from a publisher that uh, we have plans of doing more together, and that's Heartline Comics. This is Velocity X. Um, the art 
across all of their comics are just like next level. Um, this one looks really dope. Just about to jump in. Justin, uh, Justin uh, Zazis and uh, Abraham Perez on art. Um, but anyways, or Marcos, Marcus um, Almeida is on art, but it's uh, Justin, Abraham Perez, and Jade Tapia who are the writers of this, but it came out awesome. Their art is just next level. All right, the next one, one of my favorite publishers, and that is Concrete Comics. I've gotten quite a few things over the last, uh, I don't know, I went to um, C2E2 and I picked up a couple Deja Vu um, comics that I was missing, but I did pick up their latest uh, Kickstarter, and this is uh, Deja Vu and Watchmen. Um, so this thing looks absolutely amazing. Um, Jairi Cecil and um, Lyle Ringgold are the um, writers for each um, character, and they came together to put uh, this you know, um, this uh, comic together, which look at that foil cover, man. It looks pretty dope. If you're not following Concrete Comics, just go over to Concrete Comics. They got all kinds of titles. I think I have everything that they produce just because I, I love it. Um, Lonzo Starr is the founder and CEO, and he's been on the podcast several times. I've had almost all the writers on too. Um, there might be a few that I'm missing, but uh, check it out. Um, the next one that came in the mail is issue two of Luna. Um, and the art on this is spectacular. The storyline is absolutely incredible. If you're not reading Luna, you're making a mistake. Um, Carla Medrano, um, I've had on the podcast as well to talk about Luna. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, Ian Sebastian is the artist on a lot of the titles and Luna is one of it. Um, like I mentioned, um, I was at C2E2 and I had to pick up the rest of the Deja Vu titles that I was missing. So here's zero, one, two, and three. Um, again, um, pick those up. And uh, that is by um, Jairi with art um, from um, Ian Sebastian. Um, the next one is Zuriel. Um, this one came in uh, maybe two months ago. Like I said, I have a whole pile that is starting to uh, back up quite a bit. So I, I gotta get through all of these comics, but this one, the art looked amazing. It is written by the CEO and founder, Alonzo Starr. So check that out, it looks absolutely dope. Um, again, um, art on this one is uh, Leandro Manessis, but uh, it looks awesome. And then uh, Primate is the last one that I picked up. This is a fairly new title. Um, and it looks awesome by Avery, um, Avery Hazelwood with art by, uh, Rodrigo, um, Puchetta. So, um, look at that artwork, man. It looks freaking dope. So, uh, that is all of my concrete. Um, and so let's kind of keep going. Um, this one is a, a Kickstarter that I picked up because, um, one, it's, uh, a, a, a title that was out in the late seventies, um, early eighties. They taken certain stories and brought it together into this first issue, um, by Dren after dark comics, um, and is Romero's, um, AXA. Um, and if you like, uh, Conan the Barbarian, Red Sonia, that type of stuff, I think you're going to really like this. Um, but this thing looks dope. It looks dope. Donnie Avenel, um, with, uh, art by Romero, but, uh, Cannot wait to dig into that. Um, and then um, one of my favorite writers is Jimmy Palmiotti. Um, and then one of my favorite artists is Amanda Connor. And they happen to be married and they've done a lot, obviously, together. Um, unfortunately, Florida and the Carolinas went through um, some really rough times with the hurricane that went through. And uh, a lot of people were not spared, including Jimmy. A lot of his comics were destroyed um, from uh, you know his house um, being soaked with uh, water. So he did this huge sale to try and raise money. Um, and so I went ahead and picked up a couple things. I got Gatecrasher. This was written by Mark Wade and Jimmy Palmiotti um, with art by Amanda Connor. And it's signed right there by Jimmy, which is awesome. I also got Monolith and it's a hard uh, hardback. And this thing is dope, man. If you haven't read Monolith, you gotta check it out, man. It is so awesome. If you wanna pick it up, all you have to do is go to Paper Films. Um, that is Jimmy's uh, publishing company. And a lot of these titles are on there. But this one is awesome. Justin Gray, Jimmy Palmiotti, art by uh, Phil Winslade. But uh, this is awesome. And then um, my comic shop, Diggers Comics and Collectibles, always does raffles for certain events. And they had one where they had a Power Girl um, trade that is signed by Amanda Connor. And I had to you know, buy tickets for this. And man, I was really fortunate to, to win. And it is Power Girl. I've obviously written um, Justin Gray, Jimmy Palmiotti with the art by Amanda, but um, incredible, 
awesome addition to my collection. Um, the next one is uh, another good friend of mine, Mr. Pat O'Malley. Um, he is one of the creators for uh, the Jurassic Park War 4. Um, and this came out from his own publishing company, Punch Publishing. Um, and this thing looks pretty awesome as well. It is written um, by obviously Pat O'Malley, Andy Reynolds with art by um, Ariel de um, Candido. But uh, this thing looks awesome. This was also a Kickstarter, and so I need to dig into that. Um, the next one is going to be Hellhawk, and this is from um, 615 Comics. Um, again, I've had Pat O'Malley on. I've had a lot of these folks on. Um, this is another one. This is uh, by uh, Malcolm McFadden, who I've had on with art by Rom Silva. Um, and this looks pretty awesome as well. So I'll be digging into this. I have a few of their uh, titles as well. Uh, Mr. Uh, Tony Cottrell, who I love. Um, he was my first interview over almost two years ago, and he's been on a couple times. He is the owner, founder, CEO of Advent Comics. They're celebrating their 15th anniversary. So I went ahead and picked up a few of their titles as well. Here's Old Glory, signed by Tony down there. Here is uh, Blackfire, signed by Tony. And then the last one is Ace. Um, Tony wrote the first two. Ace is actually um, written... Um, who is it? it is uh, oh Joseph Philip Ildridge um, is the uh, writer on this one so I had to pick up some Advent comics I probably have 40 of their comics I, I love Advent um, and Tony is just awesome so if you want to support support an amazing uh, indie that's definitely one another one is my good friend Paul Thayer he's been on a couple times about to be on again at the end of the month this is Project Neosis episode four um, and this thing is awesome if you're not reading this one of the top indies out there um, he sells a lot of his titles. Um, the art is done by uh, Samuel Marquez, but uh, it's awesome, man. Um, great storyline, crazy action, um, a lot at stake. Um, his characters, they die and they don't come back, man. So um, high stakes and within that comic. All right, the next one is Graham Nolan's Return to Monster Island, obviously on art and story. Um, one of my favorite Batman runs ever is Nightfall. Um, him and Chuck Dis Dixon um, worked a lot of that together. He is the co-creator of Bane with Chuck Dixon, um, but he has Monster Island. Again, awesome. The next one is uh, Lanny. Now, um, this title, I met this gentleman, had him on the podcast um, maybe, I don't know, two months ago. Um, Evan Golden. Um, he writes this comic. He's in San Diego, so we live close together. Um, great guy. Had a blast talking to him sent me the first four issues of his title Lanny. Um, they are uh, magazine size, but the storyline is dope, man. So I was able to read the first couple and he went ahead and sent them all to me. I sent them my comic, so we kind of shared, but yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, and then we have Blood Type. This is by uh, Red Sea Comics. Sorry, I'm about to drop everything here. Um, but check that out, Blood Type Comics. Uh, Chris Moses is the creator writer on this with art by uh, Laura um, Todisco. But uh, I have also collected quite a bit from Chris. He's been on the podcast, great guy, um, and uh, really enjoying that. All right, so this next one is called Amer American um, Yakuza. And uh, let me open this, this is by Zion Comics. Um, several writers are on this, came with an awesome bookmark and obviously stickers this was also a uh a kickstarter um zion studios they do a lot of really good stuff so it is uh, written and co-created by uh chris moses anthony stokes um with art by uh D um Damiano um, Restivo, sorry if I got that wrong, but the art looks awesome. And I collect just about everything from Zion because all of their stuff is super high quality um, and I absolutely love it. So that was another one. And then last but not least, this one I was extremely excited about. Um, another gentleman who I've had on the podcast a couple times. Um, he is the storyboard director for The Simpsons, has been for 20 plus years, and his art is incredible. This is by uh, Matthew Schofield, and I had to get this cover because it is a John Boy cover, and I cannot wait to see John Boy again. I've had him on the podcast. I've had Matthew on the podcast. I will be getting this signed the next time I see him at a show. But if you're not reading Steamroller Man, you're making a mistake. If you love comedy, you like the tick, um, you're going to love Steamroller Man. This is a blast. And this cover 
is just next level. But Matthew is the writer, artist, creator, all that good stuff. And this was his uh, Kickstarter exclusive that he had John Boy do for him. And I could not be happier. So yeah, this is awesome, man. And then I went ahead and picked up a couple um, items um, for uh, organic price books. If you're not buying from them, please do so. Um, you could use my code. I will put it below and you could get... Uh, um, save $2 on your order and get up to 50% off on certain titles. So check it out. I'm a big Green Lantern fan. And so I got the collected um, works, um, at least for Green Lantern, um, Heredius, um, Jeffrey Thorne. And I had to go ahead and pick that up. So this will be a great addition to all of my comics um, that are Green Lan Lantern. And then I had to get um, the uh, Compendium uh, Milestone 3. Um, so I have the others. And so I had to add this, man. A bunch of legends created and wrote uh, milestone so check it out amazing so yeah that's all my pickups man I've, I've had a lot going on over the last uh month and a half we're actually moving and so uh yeah it's been a little tough getting through everything but hopefully you check out some of these folks i'll put a bunch of information below on how to get a hold of or how to follow each of these folks um but yeah it's all about uh, indie creators and supporting them we're happy to say here at world at war comics we've been able to support um over 200 um crowdfunding over just the last two years alone and uh we plan on continuing that because uh we're indie creators and and we think it's really important to ensure that these indie creators have everything they need to keep creating i think some of the best stories are coming out of indie comics um so yeah that's my pick up from um you know crowdfunding and uh, i would love to see if you have already read some of this stuff all right everybody um, like share make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments um which of these titles you would like me to dig into and maybe share a little bit more on all right everybody i hope you have a fabulous week this week and we'll talk soon thanks everybody You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.